1,006 days, Rodney. That is the last time Lonzo Ball played a basketball game. He took the floor Wednesday night for the Bulls in a preseason matchup against Minnesota. He was greeted with a standing ovation from Bulls fans. Now, he was restricted to just 15 minutes, but in that time, he put up 10 points, shooting four or six from the field. Lonzo, of course, has undergone three surgeries to repair cartilage in his knee, and he says all of those injuries and all the rehab is now behind him. What was your reaction, Rodney, to Lonzo's return? I'm a huge Lonzo Ball fan. Like, really? watching him in high school, watching him in college, watching him those first couple of years in the league, I think that he is, has always been a very special, special NBA talent. Yeah. Um, defensively, he's great. Once he fixed his shot, right, he put so much work in to fix his shot, literally changing the entirety of his form. I, I, I fell in love with the basketball player. And so to see him struggle through injury the way in which he did, was, it was painful. It was reminiscent of um, not he wasn't as great as them, but it was reminiscent of Brandon Roy, reminiscent of of uh, Derrick Rose as well. You know, Greg Oden. I felt like his talent level was so elite. It just didn't feel fair that he was unable to fully tap in with his potential. Um, so I was elated to see him back out there on the court. He's the first basketball player to uh, have cartilage transplant surgery. Right? I believe mean, there's one soccer player in the world who also had the surgery and came back to play professional sports at a competitive level um, that just goes to show just how hard this young man works and I think that sometimes when you look at certain people because and I hate colorism but there is a stigma you know he likes skin right and so we might not necessarily want to acknowledge the level of mental toughness that this man had to go through over the last two three years to get himself back in position yeah. to play NBA basketball man so my hat is tipped to him just a phenomenal story yeah, and honestly, I didn't think he was going to get back. I mean, every update that we were getting about Lonzo, it was like, okay, it's another 18 months, or he has to have this surgery, or this. And then even especially when you just brought up the, the transplant, I'm like, oh, my God, like, he's not. I didn't think he yeah. was going to come back, and I definitely didn't think that he was going to look as good when he came back. Now, obviously, he's not 100%. He did talk about he had some soreness throughout the game, but... He was shooting 42% from three before he got the last injury two and a half years ago. This is exactly what the Chicago Bulls need right now on the roster. So I'm hoping that he can come back because, well, he can come back. He's already come back, but I'm hoping that he can be back to what he was mm -hmm. before because not only do the Bulls miss him, but I think the game right now misses a player like Lonzo Ball. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he does fit into the Bulls roster if he's able to uh, remain healthy and able to play because Kobe White had a phenomenal year last year. He balled yeah. out, and he and I think that he's pretty much entrenched uh, as a starting point guard for the Chicago Bulls. But they also traded for Josh Giddy, which means that there's another playmaking, you know, wing guard on the team as well who they have high hopes for. But the Chicago Bulls fans, like most fans around the NBA, are going to be pulling for Lonzo Ball to see the floor and see the floor often. And because the Bulls ain't really playing for nothing, it's almost like, yo, put Zoe out there. We don't want, we don't want Giddy. We don't want to see Josh Giddy. You know, what I'm saying, you know, the jokes and the, the comments that are already being made about Josh Giddy because of the things that were alleged about him last year. And so that's going to be a tough thing to see uh, this team navigate the coaching staff, the front office, you know, are you going to accommodate the requests of the fans and see and, and put Zoe out there a little bit more because y'all not playing for nothing and you want the eyeball. And this is a, this is the entertainment league, right? So that'll be something to, to, to be interesting to follow. Yeah. Well, you all let us know down in the comments. What did you make of Lonzo Ball's return after 1,006 days away from Damn. basketball? <laughs> y'all let us know. <laughs>